So I've been asked a lot to do a home studio tour. So this is it. Um, this room used to be the garage or garage on the uh, side of our house. And then my father-in-law, he converted it into this room for me. So there's a, uh, there's a gap, then there's a stud wall that's insulated and then it's got um, acoustic plasterboard on top. So I can make quite a lot of noise in here. I can crank my cabs up and not get any complaints, which is cool. Um, this is, I'll just talk about some of my stuff. So this is my modded Marshall JMP, modded by Dan Gower. That was used on Dormant Heart. That is a oversized Mesa cab. That is a traditional size one. I think that's my favorite at the moment. It's got 2000 um, vintage 30s in it. This is the best thing I've bought in so long. This is a Dynamount. This is like a robotic mic stand. So uh, I can control it from the computer and it will just move however I want it to and I can recall mic settings and stuff. So if you find a really cool placement and then you want to experiment more, you can easily go back to how it was, which is amazing. This is my vocal mic. Um, I also use it when I'm just streaming on Twitch. And this is my Kemper, I use that every day. My main interface, which is the Focusrite uh, Claret A3X. Um, and I use this interface as well. Another one, I take that one toward me sometimes, it's a Scarlet. And I use that, I, when I'm streaming, I'll have my laptop doing the audio and then I'll stream from that computer. Uh, and sometimes I use this mixer to blend mics. I also have a Sennheiser 4212 that I like to blend with the 57 sometimes. Uh, these are my monitors. Shout out to Kevin and Adam. Um, these are the S2Vs and they've made the biggest difference to my mixing. Um, and I also use Sonarworks with them, which is like a plugin that kind of also treats your room as well. So uh, yeah, that's my RAM box. I don't use that too much. This is one of my main guitars that I use at home. This is uh, ESP Horizon. I've had it for a few years now. I used that for all the rhythm guitars on Cycle of Suffering. And some of my amps. That's the Krankenstein. Uh, Mesa Boogie Dual Rectifier. 5150 Block Letter. 6505 Plus. That was used on the new album as well. Um, PV XXX. The 6505. Technically, it's the same as the 5150. They do sound different. It could just be the way it's biased. I've tried it with the same tubes, but they do sound different, so I, I can warrant having both. Uh, the EVH 5153 and the PRS Archon. And there's another oversized cab. Some boost pedals. I only ever really use this. This is the uh, Maxon OD808. I just use that all the time. Some of my guitars. Um, this is my first custom shop from ESP, made in ESP Japan. Uh, it's got an Evertune, Fishman pickups. I have some of my guitars are still in Brighton at the Architects Lockup, and some of them are in Reading at the Solos' place, and some of them are upstairs, but these are the main ones I use at home. So that's a old M2 that I bought in like 2007, and I sold it not long after, and then I contacted the guy I sold it to and I actually bought it back, which is cool. That's a bolt-on one. I really like the way bolt-on necks sound. And this is uh, E2 M2. E essentially E2 is the same as the ESP standard series now. But this one is a neck through. And yeah. Oh yeah. And then these are acoustic diffuser panels. So uh, these are made by GIK Acoustics. And a lot of these other ones I made myself, with my dad actually. And um, there's some other GIK uh, acoustic panels as well. And yeah, that's pretty much everything. Oh, and uh, this is my Sir reactive load box. So essentially if I want to use my amp, I plug into that and then I can use um, impulse responses on the computer. Uh, so yeah, that's everything.